Set this is the, the lower right small. Now. Yeah, so do we have some to set it on? The we can take or? those things. Yeah, we can. And so then you guys grab it and I'll okay. grab that. Be good with that glove screw? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, Get nervous at all handling this thing? Of no course. About yeah, there's. You don't just go to Home Depot and pick up another one. This project has been many years in the making and at least three years in raising the funds and getting the plans done to get all of the restoration work done here at the museum. And we're just so thrilled. These windows are a showpiece for this house and they're a really special part of Denver history. We're so excited to see them come back. All right. It's very exciting after nine weeks of working on this project to see it safely delivered and being installed. Very exciting for us. I think that'd be perfect. Thanks, Pat. Yes. Yeah. I know they have really been missed uh, while they've been out of the house. You couldn't really see the beautiful light coming in the way that it would have when the Browns lived here and the way that those of us who have worked here and volunteered here for so many years love to experience them. It was beautiful to see the stained glass come back. It's re-gilded, it's shiny, it's bright. All the glass has been repaired, the letting, it's stable. So we're so thrilled to see it come back and have the house be whole again. This is a very significant window in that we've been told that Phil's great-grandfather made the window. So those are always more special for Phil to be working on. And I used to be a tour guide at the Molly Brown House in 1973, four or five back when it was uh, a brand new, new to historic Denver. So it's extra special for us to be working on this. The Watkins are a real Denver treasure. I mean, it's amazing to have one family with so many generations of Denver history and to be able to care for these windows the way they deserve to be cared for and give them the kind of attention and detail. Uh, it's really something special. And we're so grateful to all the donors and people who made it possible for us to have them work on these windows. It does feel like this house is my house, but it's Denver's house. And, and each generation really needs to commit to these beautiful preservation projects that we have here in Denver so we can keep our cultural heritage for the future generations who come to Denver, hear the story of Margaret Brown, and get to see this home and help us learn the story. Uh, we really called this project It Takes a Village Project um, to restore the windows here at the museum. So Phil and Jane with Watkins Stained Glass were, of course, the key people in being able to restore the stained glass back to its original beautiful glory, working with Spectrum General Contractors who, who have helped us out with many projects here at the museum, um, and also just the community at large who rallied together and helped us raise the funds for this project uh, so we could restore the house and elements like the stained glass. With all of us coming together, to get it done. We're sort of instilling Denver pride and Denver craftsmanship into this project. Yeah, it was cracked from here. I put that light in and I thought it looked too goofy, so I glued it. With to have the opportunity to work on the window is very fulfilling for us. Very hard work, but very fulfilling. Yeah.